Welcome everyone to this review of the Marseille Cat Tarot. Now let me start by saying I'm not a huge fan of um, cat themed tarot decks or at least I wasn't until I obtained Baba Studios Bohemian Cats Tarot but that's another story. Um, even so I only have three cat themed tarot decks this being one of them. Okay so this deck was published by Los Carabio around 2014 and the artwork is by Severino Baraldi and I wanted to do a review of this because I do think it's a really well executed tarot deck um, and I'm going to go through the reasons why I think that okay so first of all um, as I mentioned before it is by Los Carabio and the cardstock is fantastic um, I particularly like the oops um, the cardstock for um, Los Carabio decks. I find it easy to shuffle um, and they just have a really nice feel to them. Not too thick, not too thin. It is a Marseille type tarot deck and I give credit to the creator for sticking to the primary colors that are the essence of all Marseille decks, the yellow, the red and the blue and also for keeping in line with the traditional imagery as much as possible of Marseille tarot decks. The second point I'd like to make is that, you know, with a Marseille deck, the pips do not have pictorials, but this is changed in this tarot deck, okay? So um, let's have a look, uh, let me have a look here at the Six of Swords. Okay, now here we do have the six swords, which is the traditional Marseille imagery, and we have three kittens or cats in a boat. So this conveys the Rider Waite Smith imagery of um, you know people um, going on a journey in a boat, and I find that this is of huge help for those of us that um, read with the Marseille tarot um, although I suppose for some people this might be a hindrance you know those that really like the Marseille um, probably don't want to see imagery um, you know some some might not but for me personally um, I think it's brilliant okay um, another example I have here is the five of Pentacles Okay, so here we have a poor cat dressed in rags, looking a bit worse for the wear. And if you look at uh, the pentacles, they um, show a mouse <laughs> chewing on Swiss cheese um, in the background imagery, um, which I'm sure that this, um, you know, this cat would love a little mouse like that. But, um, you know, with the five of pentacles, it's a card of indicating hardship and strife. So the choice in clothing and their demeanor, <coughs> demeanor is consistent with the meaning of the Five of Pentacles. Okay, Another one would be the Six of um, Pentacles. Let's look at the next one. And here we have on the Pentacles themselves we've got the sign of or the symbol for the balance. So it gives you a hint that this card is about balancing things. And in the middle we have a cat um, <laughs> looking like it could do with some um, money. You know, pulling out its uh, empty pockets. So I do really like this aspect of uh, this deck. That it does give a bit of um, a pictorial imagery in some of the symbols. Particularly in the coins uh, in the uh, pentacle suit. But also with each minor arcana you have... Um, a little image that gives you a bit of a hint as to what's what the card is all about. The next thing that I really really liked about this deck is that all the um, minor suits are differentiated um, in color. Okay, so the whole, for example, um, the whole um, suit of pentacles has the yellow background. The whole sort of um, swords has a blue background, wands has a bit of a turquoise, um, so it's similar to the swords but it is different at the same time, you can tell them apart. 
and cups is in pink and this is really helpful once again because instantly you know um, which element that card is all about. Sometimes it can be tricky to ascertain. Um, you know, a lot of them are sadix. The swords and the ones in particular are easy to confuse. At least I have found them easy to confuse. Uh, not so in this deck. And once again here you can see, um, you know, you, the, the, the pictorials uh, for the cats that um, give you a bit of an indication as to um, what's happening or what that card is all about. You know, in the Three of Cups, you have a, um, you know, a cat. Let's have a look if I can focus. Enjoying the nice um, grapes. And this is a card of celebration and joy and happiness and parties. It is a card of the party. Um, so, I really like this differentiation between the suits in that each suit has its own color theme and it's consistent, okay? So here's another pentacles, right? You get the yellow throughout the whole suit. Um, I think that is what I had to say in terms of what really worked for me really well um, with this tarot deck. But there were a couple of things that um, I wish that were... Um, Thought through a bit more okay so first of all is that with the suit of cups there is no numbering okay so here the suits of ones and the suit of sword have got the Roman numerals or right, the three next to them whereas the suit of um, uh, cups and pentacles don't now that's not a huge deal um, I mean it's just not consistent um, and also when you have you know, when you get to larger numbers like seven, eight, and nine, and ten, you have to sit there counting the cups if you if you don't know straight away which minor arcana card you're looking at. Sometimes it's easy to tell. Um, you know, like with the six of pentacles, you know, you know the sign of the balance. You 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 get to know the deck. Um, but I still think it would be nice to have a consistency and have the Roman numerals shown in the pentacle suit and in the suit of cups. The other thing that I have found with this deck is that um, in some cards sometimes you're sort of wondering um, where the description for the minor uh, arcana picture comes from because, um, and this is a good example here, here is the eight of wands and we have a cat working away, nailing um, something or doing some sort of carpentry work. Okay, to me this is more like the Eight of Pentacles, you know, someone learning a craft. You can very easily interpret it in that sense. Um, and here is the Eight of Pentacles. Someone also doing a bit of engraving work. So it does keep in line with the Rider Waite Smith imagery, no doubt about that. But I find uh, I just wasn't sure um, how the um, artist sort of <coughs> excuse me came to this um, interpretation visually there, um, and in a couple of other cards as well. It's not a biggie. It's not a huge thing. I mean, you know that these are pentacles, and you know these are ones. Um, so you you know what each card relates to. It's not like um, this makes or breaks the deck for me. But they're just these sort of minor things that you come across when you start working with a, a, t a tarot deck a bit more that you sort of go, hmm, really wish they would have done that. Now, all of this aside, I um, have to say that this is a really nice little deck and I don't use it often enough. Um, I certainly have used it in the past and it, it works uh, beautifully. It's got a really nice structure to it because it has these minor um, depictions in the middle. Like here is the Eight of Swords, right? I mean, this is right away Smith imagery and it makes it really easy to interpret. Um, because of this, uh, working with this deck is really easy. So if you're daunted by the Marseille, but you do love cat themed decks, <laughs> I highly encourage you to give this a try. It's a wonderful um, little deck and I hope you enjoy working with it. 
So I will now go ahead and go through the flip through of all the 78 cards one by one.
Thank you for watching.